And Local 10 News has learned a federal grand jury will resume work next week, deciding whether to move forward with a criminal indictment against Broward Sheriff Ken Jenny. Local 10's Rad Berkey joins us live from BSO with some new information on this investigation. Well, Dwight, we not only know that the grand jury is going back to work, we know who one of the first witnesses is scheduled to be. All of this coming just a day after Ken Jenny's own personal attorneys met with federal prosecutors to try again to stave off an indictment of the sheriff. At the heart of the case is a $20,000 loan made by developer Phil Procacci to Ken Jenny's personal secretary, Marion Yoka, who in turn gave the cash to Jenny to pay his income taxes. My client doesn't know anything about that. Attorney Leah Mayerson represents Ara Taroyan, the former finance director for Phil Procacci. Procacci's company leased office space to the Broward Sheriff's Department, opening questions of a conflict of interest for Jenny. Taroyan, we've learned, will testify before the grand jury at the federal courthouse next Tuesday morning. And his attorney says it will not be about the loan, but about Sheriff Jenny and his relationship with Procacci. Not as much about money and the company because he knew about um, the involvement of different individuals on the board of directors of the company that Mr. Bracacci was looking to acquire. We've learned prosecutors are looking at a business trip Jenny made in connection with that deal and whether or not the trip was made on Jenny's personal time and whether BSO deputies acted as escorts. Mayerson says while her client will be able to fill in some blanks, he did nothing wrong. Oh, absolutely not. It's definitely not a target at all. And prosecutors also want to know if Sheriff Jenny conducted any of his own personal dealings right here at BSO headquarters. Now, as to the question of whether or not this means there's no plea deal anymore because the grand jury is going back to work, the answer to that is yes, there could still be a plea deal at any moment. But meanwhile, prosecutors can't wait. So they're going back to calling witnesses, Dwight, on Tuesday.